Hi, my name is Mark Darrow, and I'm a medical doctor, and we're going to talk about nutrition today. And to my right is Corinne Stevenson, one of the best nutritionists that I know of. I send a lot of my patients to her, and our idea is to get people very, very healthy. What is it about eating that people have difficulty about that's putting on all this weight in this epidemic that we're going through in our country? Mostly it is the uh, blood sugar so and an insulin effect. So basically people are eating too many starches and this is why you see this huge flux of protein diets and everybody's so excited about the protein diets because it cuts out the carbs and helps right. people lose weight. But I remember you once said that they can't continue that type of a diet and why is that? Well, basically, if they're doing something for weight loss, then it is a diet, and uh, they're going to eventually go back to eating the things that they used to eat. And the reason for this is because uh, the high-protein diets, especially when you're eating just meat and vegetables and water, then you are becoming incredibly acidic. And when you are acidic, you're going to crave sugar in order to uh, make the body more alkaline, and you're going to go after the carbs or the ice cream eventually. It's just a matter of time. Gotcha. You could eat a huge amount of protein from hemp seeds and goji berries, and it's not going to cause osteoporosis because it's not acidic in the same way that meat is. When you're eating meat, you have a lot of protein coming in, but the body has to break it down to turn it into the amino acids that it needs in order to make its own proteins. The body makes its own proteins. It cannot use the proteins from another animal. So when we eat hemp seeds, what's coming into your body is the full ratio of amino acids acids that the body needs to make its own proteins. Greens is going to be your most important source of amino acids. So doing those green smoothies in the morning is very important to build up the amino acids in your body. This has always confused me. I see so many vegetarians or vegans who come into my office and they've got this scrunched up look. Mm -hmm. Their shoulders are forward. They've got a pot belly. They look like this. What's that about? Usually the vegan diet is a high starch diet, and which means a high insulin <laughs> diet, essentially. So they're retaining the fat because when insulin is high, yeah. you can't burn fat. It right. locks it in. People. The good idea is that you can still be ethical and not eat meat and get better nutrition from the vegetable kingdom. Well, that is one of the coolest things I've ever heard. It Thank is. you so much. It is.